Hey everybody, welcome back to another unboxing. Today we have Crossing Souls from Special Reserve Games that comes with a laser blaster that doesn't actually have a laser because they'd probably get sold if someone shot their eye out. A nice little set of stickers which they added on and the Special Reserve game nice display shelf box as well as the game on the inside. Now if you guys like this unboxing, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings just like this one. I'll be coming out with more, so let's get it open. First starting out with the stickers, now you get the St. Bernard logo for Special Reserve Games. Now I have another set of stickers that's always different. So if you guys didn't know anything about Crossing Souls, it's an action adventure set in California's suburb in the midst of a supernatural event. You play as five characters and each character has their own set of skills and ability. You have the chance to fight in real time, solve clever puzzles, face off against powerful bosses, and play special levels inspired by 80s arcade games, which I love the soundtrack in this game by the way. But getting to the box, I really like this matte coloring with this nice shine and embossing that Special Reserve always comes out with. It just makes it look so much more unique than just having a standard edition. I've just always enjoyed the boxes coming from Special Reserve games. Now they could have added a little bit more on the backside, but I really think the simplicity on the backside cover kind of emphasizes the foil art on the front. And I just want to emphasize the sides of the box, which are really taken for granted sometimes. I really love this kind of Miami Vice-esque 80s looking art style box for Crossing Souls. All right, so getting the box open, I hope it comes with a nice cover art edition different than the front box. And there we are, ooh, hells yeah. Look at how cool that looks. Crossing Souls, pretty sure the art book is in there, so let's get this game open. So looking at the game first glance, it looks pretty normal, but it literally has a little bit too much saturation. So when I actually looked at the cover art, you can see there's actually more embossing and the foilness that comes from the box on top of this standard cover art. I really like how it looks. I kind of emphasize it a little bit more because the plastic stuck to the cover art on the backside, and you kind of notice this glare that it had when you take it out of its sleeve. I really like how this looks. The game looks awesome. It kind of is a little bit more revamped than every other style of game that usually comes out like this. Opening it up, there we have it, Crossing Souls. There's that front cover guy that's just right on the front. I'm can't, I can't wait to fight that guy, but here we are, the art book or instruction manual, instruction booklet, there you go. Ooh, hells yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed about the cart. They could have done a little bit better on that. Crossing Souls, I mean, of course they did a great job with all this artwork already. But overall, I'm just nitpicking. I really love this game so far. I love its art style. Special Reserves did a knockout job with this one so far. Now, we're just going to open up this instruction manual for everyone right now. Finally, getting to the laser mini blaster, it doesn't actually have a laser. I like the backside art. It's just very like 80s kind of esque pink highlights, nice turquoises, really cool coloring, but you can't actually take the gun out. I will actually post a picture right up here to actually compare. Obviously, artwork subject to change, but it says it's a mounted gun, and you can actually tell. I looked even closer when I looked at it. There's glue right here on the back, like wax glue that they just use it, and they just glued it on to the back. I thought that was a little bit shoddy. The gun's 
actually smaller and it just doesn't look as nice as a presentation. I'm only complaining on nitpicking on little things, but overall I really liked how this game turned out. I really thought they could do a little bit better on this laser blaster. I get why there isn't a laser in there, you'd probably get sued. Alright everybody, that was Crossing Souls from Special Reserve Games, a $40 game that is sold out now. It comes with a mini laser, no laser included, nice stickers, the instruction booklet, and a beautiful embossed and matte covered art box that is just always coming out hot. I really like these from Special Reserve. But what did you guys think about this game? I'm kind of excited to get into this game. It, little, it literally looked a little bit different than most of the ones that do kind of relate to this style of game. But I hope you guys subscribe to my channel for more unboxings just like this one. I'll have more unboxings later. And I hope you guys follow me on Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Hubbalubaloo. I'll be streaming every Monday and Friday and Saturday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I'll see you guys next time.